Olha aí, então tem a segunda temporada de Minecraft, tá? então tem o, o modo história e eu joguei a primeira temporada e foi pra mim surpreendente, eu até falei, quando eu comprei a temporada 1, eu tinha dito que eu não iria amar, eu não iria postar aventura gráfica no canal, porque aventura gráfica é basicamente a história e você, você posta um detonado de uma história, você estragou 100%, né? Mais do que qualquer outro estilo de jogo, a aventura gráfica ela é basicamente a surpresa da história. Mas aí eu acabei mudando de ideia ao longo do tempo, porque eu cheguei até a postar Batman. Eu postei as duas temporadas de Batman, né? Eu postei o... Acho que o Borderlands não, eu postei o Guardiões da Galáxia. Eu gostei demais, eu fui muito surpreendido pela primeira temporada de, de Minecraft. Então agora... Eu vou experimentar a segunda temporada. E olha que interessante, eu posso iniciar uma nova história ou eu continuo a minha história da primeira temporada. E é exatamente isso que eu vou fazer. Eu tinha um personagem que era aqui, ó. Esse personagem é muito a minha cara. É muito parecido. Então aí, nós temos o episódio 1. O 2, já o 3, o 4 e o 5, a temporada... Ah não, o 5 ainda vai sair. O 5 ainda vai sair. É, ou não. Não, já saiu. O 5 também já saiu. Então a segunda temporada já tá aí, já tem um tempo. Vamos lá, vamos iniciar o episódio 1. Quem não teve oportunidade de jogar a primeira temporada, eu recomendo porque ela é muito mais interessante do que parece. Ah, mas eu não gosto de Minecraft, Minecraft é, é jogo infantil, blá blá blá, seja lá o que for que falem por aí. Mas a, a, a versão da Telltale, né, o modo história, é, foi bem divertido. E você não precisa gostar de Minecraft para gostar do, do, do jogo da Telltale, vamos deixar isso bem claro. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, Those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Oh, oh uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although... Not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. So? I don't know, Lucas. If there's one thing our adventures taught me, it's better to just be truthful. Let history speak for itself. I guess I can pull back on some of the, uh... The exaggerations. Yeah, like the part with the magic chicken? Talk about implausible. Uh, that actually happened. Oh, right. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Hey, come on guys, we all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, 
This has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right-o, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. I was really hoping to start in on these revisions. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> ah, so freaking cute. É, eu tenho que dar uma ajeitada no tamanho da legenda. So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstone, yeah, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. I am going to see you all again. Same time next week. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, but being out there, adventuring, that's good too. I mean, I guess. I've never really been the adventuring type myself. Too, uh, too dangerous. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but... I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Bet one of those would look awesome on the Order Hall's front lawn. Mm hmm. Dude! 
Nell, I thought you were out seeing the worlds. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though. Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. But sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, I'm so glad you're here. Man, that is just the sort of warm welcome I had hoped. You rock, Jesse, dude. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Ah, uh, a blank canvas. Ah, eu tenho que criar uma, uma estátua. Eu não sou bom nessas coisas. O que, que eu vou fazer aqui? That is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Oh, Wink, get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're going to need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. 
Esse daí são os personagens que a primeira história da DLC, da expansão, alguma coisa assim, era baseada em youtubers famosos que, que jogam muito Minecraft. Por isso que os, é o nome da personagem lá, Stacy Place. Step Cat é um nome maneiro. Ah, oh, Ruben morreu na primeira temporada. I wish I could have met Ruben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Ruben almost got me crying right there. He was a hero. He saved everybody. He'd be really excited about how great Beacon Town is now. I bet that's totally true. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? Yeah, talk about knowledgeable casting. I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggy. <laughs> Que são goizinhos. That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Rubenesque. Hmm? Nossa, eles são goizinhos. Raised all of them myself. Definitely Esteban. He's got the most intelligent face. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic! Congratulations! <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Bye! Sugar, nice. Jesse! Oh, hey, hey, look who it is! Jesse, hey! Hey guys, what are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for founding day that I guarantee you is gonna be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Oh. Want to give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? Yep. It's really cool. 100% totally, mostly safe, we think. Are we building or having a steering contest? Eh? What you looking at, citizen? Oh, Jesse! Wow! Hi! And just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Is it the appropriate aesthetic addition to the tableau that is Beacon Town? How'd you even get up there? That's, like, really high. Oh, getting up wasn't the hard part. Getting down was. <laughs> Uh, okay then, we'll just leave you to it. Is he okay? No, I don't think so. I am telling you, Stampy, it needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Oh, and pumpkin pie is the universally loved food? I think not. Why don't we have both? Oh, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, 
There might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. What is this for? Ow! Nos. Hey, an egg. Maybe that'll help me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. Huh. What a lovely garden. Yes. He said cake, she said pie, and then I said, why don't we just have both? Oh, well, this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? Eh, found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Well, that's fantastic, Jesse. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye!
And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh, no. Thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. Helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Spitting in fate's eye. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? Oh, stupid zombie. Oh, I miss this. <coughs> oh, smell not so much. that. Punctual and kicking butt. Nice. Hey to you too, Petra. <laughs> hey, glad to see you remember how to use your sword. I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. I really do miss this. You know, us adventuring together, facing the unknown. I wish we could do this more often. Except I'm gonna have a hard time being seen with someone wearing such dingy armor. What is that? Iron? I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Ready for more? <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. my steps yet. Well, you sure showed me. I gotta say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I know you enjoy your job or whatever. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. Oh, come on. You know you're more important to me than all of them. Okay, now you're just trying to flatter me. But, uh... Can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured, man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? Hey, don't get bummed. Even without them, we're having fun, right? Yeah, that's a good point. At least we've got the cool people here. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. What was that? Come on, let's race. Wait, what? It's monster hunting time. What's up? Good to see ya. <laughs> oh, perfect. Hey, I was gonna eat that. Obviously. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Huh. Woo! Alright, where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! 
Look down there. So you're really not going to tell me what we're chasing? Nope. Mystery is what makes it fun. Come on. Steal them off somehow? Like, maybe a little lava. Yeah. Whew, that totally did the trick. Ah, see ya. Hey, no fair. <laughs> 